hello viewers how are you so in this video i am going to start with an example okay for determination of true length and inclination okay so based on this this is the question so the top view ab and front view ad s b dash of line ab okay are given so top view measurement is given dimension is 60 mm and front view is 50 mm okay it's and a 20 mm above hp okay 20 mm above hp and 25 mm in front of the bp okay so the left side 20 mm above xy and 25 mm below xy okay a and uh, the end b 40 mm above hp okay so this side is right hand side 40 mm above H, uh, xy and 65 mm below xy okay so based on this i am going to draw the a b uh, this ads b dash and a b okay so two uh, projections i am going to draw so length is given okay and after that i am going to determine the true length and the inclination with hp and pp okay so first i am going to draw the reference line and the uh, projection a b and a dash b dash this is the reference line x y ok so now i am going to draw this distance ok 20 and 25 ok 20 and 25 so from here to here this is 20 and from here to here this is 25 okay and another one is forty and 65 okay so from here to here is 40 and 65 Okay, now I am going to draw the locus. Okay, I'm going to draw the locus. So front view is 50 mm so first you measure 50 and after that taking this as a radius you have to draw an arc okay and the top view is 65 sorry top view is 60 so from here to here you have to measure 60 and after that you have to draw an arc okay so this one and this one is your length of front view and top view okay so this is a dash this is b dash okay and this is a this is b okay now you can draw a line from here to here So this intersection point is 42 and this intersection point is 01. Okay. Now how I can get the true length? Okay. Suppose this is my plane, horizontal plane, vertical plane. Okay. And this is my suppose AB. Okay. So AB is having some inclination this ab is nothing but your original length okay so ab is having some inclination 
with the horizontal uh, plane and also vertical plane so this this may be the case okay so in that case okay if this is AB so front view will be seen here okay at SB dash okay so front view will be seen in the vertical plane means above XY okay so how you can get the true line Achha, another thing is this phi is the angle of okay angle of uh, angle uh, of inclination okay angle of inclination with the BP okay so I can uh, say that this phi is the inclination with the BP okay now how I can get the true length okay so this is nothing but the trapezium if I rotate this trapezium okay if I rotate this trapezium up to vertical plane okay then what happen this AB will come to the vertical plane okay so here this will nothing nothing but your original length of AB okay this this is the AB so this AB is the true length actually so when I'm going to rotate this AB up to the vertical plane okay then I am going to get the true length okay similarly from the top uh, this is the case okay if this is the AB okay this is the AB so this is the case for the top view okay so this is the case for the top view this is the this is my line okay so when I am going to get this AB true length okay so when I am going to rotate this rotate this trapezium okay up to HP then I am going to get the true length okay then in that case this will not find at that time this will be the theta which is angle with the horizontal plane okay inclination with the horizontal plane okay so I think you have understand the concept now I am going to draw this okay so in that case okay so when it is going to turn from here to here when it is going to turn from here to here uh, you can see that you, you can see that so this is the thing when it is going to turn from here to here okay so some inclination it is having so this inclination uh, with this is nothing but the phi okay inclination of the particle plane okay and uh, what is the distance you have to uh, give okay for this and this so this is nothing but from here to here distance okay from uh, from the top view and here to here distance if you see from the top view this distance okay so how I am going to draw this you can understand okay so let's start so what I will do I am going to draw perpendicular okay perpendicular on this and this okay so what will be the distance okay so distance is nothing but from here to here will be a o1 okay and from here to here will be o 2 b okay so may, taking this as a distance I am going to draw the perpendicular okay so this is 25 okay so I am going to draw a perpendicular so this is 20 25 okay and this is 65 okay so from here to here again I am going to draw a perpendicular which will be 65 okay now if I join this if I join this line okay from here to here then this will be your true length okay this will be your true length so you remember uh, that in the previous problem I told that the uh, true length of the line is 65 so you can easily see that so this is the 65 actually I have taken the previous problem only okay this projection is nothing but the previous problem projections what I have already uploaded okay so you can match with this thing okay so similarly okay, now I am going to make uh, some numbering here so this is nothing but your a1 and this is your b1 a1 and b1 okay and this angle okay if you project this okay if you project this 
so this is going to intercept somewhere here okay so this angle is nothing but your phi which is inclination with the bp okay so this is the true length okay similarly i am going to draw the true length over here true length over here okay so same procedure i am going to follow okay so similarly i am going to draw the perpendicular here and perpendicular here okay so this this distance is nothing but this distance and this distance is nothing but this distance okay so this distance is how much 20 so using this i am going to draw a line okay so from here to here is the 20 and this distance is 40 okay so i'm going to draw perpendicular okay so this is the perpendicular okay so these are the two points okay now i can join this line and this line okay so if you see if you are going to join this okay so this is coming 65 okay this is coming 65 so this is nothing but your a2 and this is your b2 okay and this is the inclination theta with hp okay so if you extend project this thing okay so you will get the inclination will get the inclination okay so this is nothing but the theta so this theta is the inclination with the uh, hp okay so this phi and theta you have to measure uh, using this one okay protector you have to measure okay so kindly measure this okay and you have to put the inclination value okay so this is the true length okay this is the true length okay so in this way you can draw the true length i think you understand so this is 50 it is given in the question okay a dash b dash is 50 so this is 50 okay and this is 60 this is 60 given okay it is given in the question a b is 60 okay and true length you have measured right so you can get okay you can see that the true length is 65 so you can write this is 65 okay here also you can write this is 65 okay and this and this also given okay so this is 20 and this is 25 this is 20 this is 25 okay and this one also this is 40 and this is 65 this is 40 this is 65 okay so use the dimension line okay when you are going to draw use the dimension line i have not draw the dimension line you have to draw the dimension line okay so i think you have understand the problem